What is going on guys? Welcome to Greggles TV. In this video, I'm going to show you how to take a screenshot three different ways. And it's really simple, really easy. So let's get into it. The first way is to put one finger on your power button and then the other one on the volume down. So if you press those together, power and volume down, no matter what screen you're on, you can take a screenshot. So I'll, again, I'll just open up any screen here, take a screenshot very easy you can even capture more so it's usually a website you want to capture more so we'll take that screenshot capture more and it makes the website you can see pretty much complete and you can just drag this down you're like oh i want all that and then if you're good you can hit save or you can shorten it or you know do whatever you want let's just say i'm done at this point and then I'm going to hit save and it saves it to my screenshot. Some other things while you capture a screenshot, no matter which mode you're on, I'll just show you while I'm here. Um, we'll capture a screenshot and you can edit it. I can click edit and I can put text on it if I want to. I can put like, hey, right here and I can change the, the font. I can change the color. I can delete it. So I'll just put that back to white. I think white worked the best right there. And here we go. We can even increase it. We can also, while we're here, we can hit these things down here. So if I tap that, I can put like a red and maybe put like an arrow so they know where I'm talking about. Put another one, a yellow one right here for a different look to it. It's kind of hard to see, but whatever. And then from here, I can also erase. So you can see I can erase that, what I did. So very helpful. You can also go back too. Like say I want to put that back. I can hit the back button or the forward button and put it back. I can trash it and also share it. So I can hit save too as well. So if I can hit share and I can share it wherever I want it or again, just hit save and it's done. Another way to capture a screenshot, and you can do this from any screen that you want, is saying the words that you can see on the screen right now. I'm not going to say it because I don't want it to trigger you, but for me, I have too many smart things in my room right now, so I'm in, unable to do it. So I'll just do it on this screen by tapping the microphone. Capture screenshot. All right, and it captured the screenshot right here, and I can view it. There you go, that's my screenshot. Also, when you use those trigger words, you can use it from any screen that you're on. So even if I was on a website, I can say those trigger words and it would capture it. Again, I can't do it right now just because I have too many smart devices from Google in my room and it'll override what's on my phone. The last way to capture a screenshot is actually pretty cool and probably maybe one of the easiest ways just to swipe up, especially if you're on a certain app and say I want to capture this app, I can just hit screenshot and it screenshots it for me. It saves it right there. I'm good to go. So you would do that with any app. So if you wanted to capture like uh, Google Play Store, I would just swipe up and hold and then hit screenshot. Now, if you're not using the gestures like I am and say you're using the buttons like I have right down here, just hit that square button and you can hit capture or screenshot, I should say, and it'll screenshot it for you. Also, if you can't see your screenshots, this is what you can do. Go into your Google Photos app. Once you're in your Google Photos app, click on library on the left-hand side and you'll see one on where it says photos, the device called screenshots. You can tap on that and you'll see screenshots of everything that you captured. And you can even back them up if you want to your Google Photos or you can just come in here and work with them, save them, share them, whatever you want. Thanks for watching, guys. Have a great day. We'll see you down the road. Peace.